The clockwork universe theory is based on the classical physics of Newton and compares the universe to a mechanical clock continuously ticking along as a perfect machine with its gears governed by the laws of physics, making every single aspect of the machine completely predictable. The problem with the idea of a clockwork universe running like a perfect machine is that there is no explanation for Sod's law or Murphy's law, the idea that whatever can go wrong will go wrong. This might sound mad, but to have something go wrong for someone you need individuality and uncertainty and what we could call statistical probability. There is also no concept of free will in the clock clockwork universe theory, and it gives us no reason for the second law of thermodynamics, that the total entropy or disorganization of any isolated system tends to increase over time. The rest of this video takes the classical physics of Newton and the uncertainty of quantum physics and combines them with Einstein's relativity to explain a process that can explain the reality and uncertainty of everyday life. This is possible because in Einstein's relativity every object has its own reference frame. When the object moves, space-time moves relative to the energy, mass and momentum of the object. Therefore every object is always in the center of their own created reference frame. This is a universal process from the largest planet spinning around a star to the smallest living cells. Everything forms its own reference frame by slowing down the rate that time flows relative to its own energy, mass and momentum. Just by walking across the room you will slightly alter your own experience of time and space and in doing so you will create your own future relative to your own actions or energy, mass and momentum, forming your own arrow of time within your own created reference frame. Because this process is universal, conscious energy in the form of electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process. The continuous flow of ideas and emotions that form consciousness are always in the moment of now within their own created reference frame. It is this process of each one of us having our own individual reference frame that gives the brain the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique view of life. Therefore we have the individuality for some people to feel lucky and others to feel unlucky and believe in Sod's law that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. All we need now is an explanation for the uncertainty of life and for this we have to look at the physics of quantum mechanics. In this theory the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive from the largest object to the smallest creature right down to the smallest element of the periodic table will slow the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see 
that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange, forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory, the organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. Therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame. This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations, forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art, because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together, forming the movement of electric charge, creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory. This video will put forward the idea that only an infinity of possibilities could form the diversity and complexity of life. This theory is based on the mathematics and physics of some of the greatest minds the world has ever seen. It will explain a universal process of energy exchange formed photon by photon at the quantum level of the atoms by the wave-particle duality of light this forms a dynamic process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This spherical geometry can be seen as 4 pi in the equations of quantum mechanics. When this symmetry is broken, it forms spiral symmetry, forming the Fibonacci ratio that we see almost everywhere in nature. This is not because of economy of growth, but because it represents a universal dynamic geometry. In this theory, the Planck constant is a constant of action and is continuously coming into existence photon by photon or moment by moment. This is part of a continuous process of change or creation. Therefore, we have a true infinity that can continuously be halved or divided over a period of time. A mathematician will be able to divide any number into infinitely smaller parts because of this process. For a poet or artist, this process continuously forms a blank canvas that they can interact with, forming the possible into the actual, as time unfolds. Our deepest understanding of time is explained in Einstein's theories of relativity. In these theories, time is more than just a measure of change, of things happening, because we have the geometry of Einstein's curvature of space-time. The theory explained in this video extends the theory of relativity to everyday objects and life forms. Living things will form their own future by slowing down the rate that time flows relative to their own energy. In this way they form a vortex in space formed by the rate that time flows and are therefore always at the center of their own reference frame. It is because life can choose when and where to collapse the quantum wave particle function or probability function breaking the symmetry that we have free will. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time forming its own broken symmetry of its own e evolutionary path. This forms an infinity of possibilities within the evolutionary process for each life form. In this theory all life has a common geometry formed by the geometry of space-time. This forms a mathematical base 
for Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. Therefore the diversity of life is not based just on the survival of the fittest, but on a self-created beauty for its own sake. The uniqueness of every life form, of every sunset, of every moment, can only be created out of a potential infinity of possibilities. Because it is an infinity, everything is unique, and our whole universe is only relative to each individual object or observer. We have a universal dynamically forming geometry, forming symmetry, from simple dynamics, the forward momentum of electromagnetic radiation will place like charged particles that repel, becoming equally displaced along the curvature of their own created space-time. The same broken symmetry can be seen in each individual part of a plant, from the position of the leaves to the petals and seeds upon the flower head. Each new cell growth will have its own unique angle forming the curvature of space-time. Therefore we see the same patterns in plant life as we do in deep space, formed by the same universal geometry. It is this dynamic universal geometry that human mathematics is based upon. In this theory, fractals are formed by the repetition of the wave function, continuously collapsing and reforming, a kind of geometrical and mathematical repetition. This has gauge symmetry, and we can re-gauge each new photon at zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future, their negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. This gives us a deeper understanding of time, and a reason why we have a future and a past. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared is the most famous equation in physics. But could this equation give us an objective understanding of the universe? All we have to do is place the Lorentz contraction of space and time between the energy and mass. Therefore the greater the energy, the greater the contraction of space, and the slower time will run. Mass will increase relative to this, and each reference frame can be seen as a vortex in space and time. The C2 in the equation represents light radiating out in all directions at a constant speed, forming a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius, forming a square of probability. This is the same probability we have with any future event, because the process forms the flow of time itself, photon by photon. The brackets represent the boundary condition of the reference frame formed by the energy, and the infinity symbol represents an infinite number of reference frames that make up our universe. In this way, we link the time dilation of Einstein's theories on relativity with a deeper understanding of quantum mechanics to give us an objective understanding of our universe that fits in with the reality of our everyday life. The theory explained in the rest of this video is based on just two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself, photon by photon. And the second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, that is formed by the probability function, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. This process of continuous creation, or change, we see and feel as the flow of time itself, and we can interact with it, turning the possible into the actual. Therefore, Sod's law, or Murphy's law, the idea that whatever can go wrong, will go wrong, is illogical, because everything is based on statistical probability.